Hi, I'm Rob and it's Mythic Friday on Gems of War, so time to try and pick up the new troop, Scoprio. Sounds quite interesting, looking forward to trying to get it. Just done this Sea of Sorrows faction assault team with a practically unbeatable team. It is literally invincible in my teams. I've never ever lost with it and I've done the delves on level 500, the hardest you can do. And it is an absolute walk in the park, so if you haven't seen that, recommend you go and check it out. Now let's find this sneaky scorpion. Now I do prefer my preferred opening order of chests to be glory, guild and then gem. But here's a little tip if you're a newer player to the game. You may want to unlock your guild chests. I've got 16, uh, 14,000 odd as you can see. But you may actually technically have more. So if you prefer to open these first but you've only got a small amount. What you can actually do is go to your guild. Go okay, into your guild, go to your seals, and then use orb. And you may have like um, a load of orbs to open. When you get this, when you open these, you open seals, and you get more. And you can see how many you've got by pressing the appropriate button. This is the square button on the PlayStation. I've got four of those left, and major orbs. I've got five of them left. So yeah, is um pretty cool. I'm going to open these first. So I'm going to use the glory ones first. My, my glory chests. So that is really sweet when you get that. When you get the mythic from a um, glory chest. And you haven't actually spent that many. That is really nice when that happens. Oops. So let's just undo these. Still find these new tabs a little bit weird sometimes. I often go to the wrong one or can't quite see what I was doing. Probably to train my eyes to get used to them. Alright, ne oops, nearly done. Oh, for God's sake, see? There we go. Right, let's um, undo some chests. I'm going to start off with the glory chests. We'll open 200 at a time. Let's see if we get our deadly scorpion. A bat and a giant. Fair enough. Let us know in the comments how easily or how tough it was for you to get this new mythic as well. Always interesting to see how or hear how easily other people got it. It's some amazing things sometimes. How people got it so easy. I think I forget what my quickest one was, but I think it was maybe the first opening of 200 glory chests or 100. Oh, I can't remember. But it was pretty amazing when that happened. So let's start doing some of these guild chests. King Mikael. Goblin King. Nothing of any note. Okay. There it is. Scoprio. That one is quite cheap. I'm quite happy with that. Now, is these worth getting two of these? Let's have a quick look. Because when you get it quite cheap, you are tempted to keep on going if it's worth getting two. Not sure it is, though. Um, not because it may be bad. I haven't actually decided that yet. But I mean, in the way of some mythics the way they work is actually beneficial to have two of them but um let's take a look at this one deals true damage to an enemy based on your magic level looks like magic times two plus two inflict poison and three stacks of bleed on them so that's not too bad and if they are already poisoned there is a 50 percent chance to kill them that is the only part of this spell i don't really like it is it's not bad but um the trouble with these 50-50 chances to kill and things like that is you're always disappointed when it doesn't happen because you always kind of expect it to happen. Otherwise, you kind of feel a bit ripped off, even though you know there's 50-50 chance. And unless you literally keep track of literally every single cast and uh, so you can work out whether the game is being fair or not, you always seem to notice the times that it doesn't work as opposed to the times that it does. But let's take a look at the traits. 
poison enemies when doing skull damage so that is a way to poison the enemy first plus getting that 50 percent chance to kill them but you don't necessarily want this at the front and this is a really quick way of charging up reduces damage from skulls by 30 percent so that does help if you wanted this in first place and it is a fey so that would mean that king oberon could give all phase a 50 percent start i don't know if that's a team that could think about with this that it'd be 11 of its required 22 straight away so it wouldn't be far away from getting charged and what that would mean is you can try and get a skull hit at the same time as collecting the rest of the mana and then you've got some poison going on there and there's then a 50 percent chance to kill them but yeah got to think on that because you don't really want to put it on the first enemy because enemy because you've hit them with skull damage which is going to be wasted if you end up killing them because they're in first place and you, that's the one you poisoned. So, yeah, a little bit of thought to be given on this mythic. And the last one, give four attack to all the green allies when they're matching green gems. So it's going to work best in a green team. So we'll absolutely take a look at that a little bit later on. So let's get this thing buffed up and maxed up. I don't think it's the sort of thing you can use two of. But I'm going to just open a little few more bunches because, I don't know, that third trait, that could be handy. And having two of these where you could both have a 50% chance of killing. I'm going to actually see if I can pick up a second one because I'm going to kind of take that back, what I just said. I think this actually could be quite handy with two of them. Could be wrong. Could be just wasting a load of chests for absolutely no reason. And I hope this doesn't get too expensive now because the trouble is when you start doing this, you kind of become committed quite quickly. Well, I do anyway. And you get kind of a bit stubborn with it. Like, the more it doesn't turn up, the more you're determined to make it happen. So you keep on going. No matter what. Come on. That can't have been the only one in existence. There must be more. Scorpions are often found in small bunches. Maybe. Alright, about to run out of guild chests. Let's do these little snippets of 200. Nearly running out now. Come on, last chance. Not opening the silly little 20 at a time ones. Right, I'm going to do a few of these. Not mucking around. I'm going to do 200 at a time. But I'm not going to go too nuts because there's only so much I'm willing to risk to get a second one. And there it is. Right, well I've got my second one. Well, I'm happy with that. May not work, but I don't know till I try, really. So let's get it boosted up. I was going to say him then, but I don't know if it's a him or a her. So I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. S, S, S. And this is my star sign one as well. So I hope it is going to end up fitting into a couple of really good teams. I'm a Scorpio myself. This is obviously based on Scorpio. Let's grab them traits. Get it boosted up. And there it is. Now I've gone up to 71 true damage in my case. So I think this has got actually decent potential, but there is obviously an element of luck in that 50 50 chance to kill somebody. But still, 71 true damage is not bad. And uh, bleed is obviously true damage as well, so that helps kill the um, enemies off so right there it is I've got my two Scorpios that I was after I'll be back later on maybe today possibly tomorrow I don't know yet depends upon how well the team goes when I look at it and how quickly or easily it is to put together a team with it but um, already done my faction assault team for this Sea of Sorrow today if you've not seen that already you should check it out as a practically invincible team that I made and I mean invincible like 
you've got to go really, really wrong with this team to have any chance of losing, not just Sea of Sorrow, but any faction of sort where you're allowed to use the colours that enable you to use this team. Um, it's absolutely superb. It blitzes through the faction of sort, even on the level 500s with the greatest of ease. And there it is. There's my hunting Scoprio, and I managed to find two of them in the end video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.